I'm not a chicken. I'm, I'm not, not a chicken. I'm not shy. I'm, I'm not, not shy. shy. I drink tequila. I drink, I drink tequila. tequila. And coochie, coochie, and, all night. And coochie, coochie. Cool. Arrived. It's about time, though. It's about time. You know, not too much to show. Let's see here. We're still at the port, so we're actually still at New Orleans. Naola. See, let's see what we got. Got some waters. There's water right there. No, that gets delivered tomorrow. We got some Powerade and water, but it wasn't available for delivery today, so it'll be here tomorrow. You saw it. I think I just ordered too late. That was like my fault. Bathroom. It's been a super long day. I have not pumped since we left Augusta, which was at 4 o'clock in the morning. It's now 1.30. This is the earliest they let you into your room. So we're going to pump. We also only got our sleep last night. So we're going to take a little nappy nap. And then I'm going to show you guys the actual cruise and what we're going to get into tonight. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? <laughs> it was crazy. Is it is your seat spinning too? <laughs> Guys, it is day two on our cruise. It's a fun day at sea. Um, so we're gonna be on the water all day today, heading to Cozumel, Mexico, and we're on the Carnival Valor. I'm sorry that we didn't really vlog yesterday. It got a little, uh... Why'd you give me this truck? Are you acquitting Robert? Oh, oh, help me. Jesus. Take the fucking wheel, bro. Are you done for the night? It's 5 o'clock. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock. <sighs> Day one of the cruise. It's going great, guys. Lady, I'm in the shower. Pull the dress. I don't think I can make it. You probably get motion sickness. <sighs> okay, there's my eyelash. <sighs> it's probably just motion sickness. You're over it. There's my other eyelash. Is yeah, I look crazy. We ended up going to bed super, super early. And since we went to bed early, we ended up waking up in the middle of the night, like one or two in the morning. We went and got some pizza. But today, I'm going to try to do a bit better with showing you guys our day since we're going to be on the cruise ship all day. We'll show you guys the ship. We're going to head to breakfast. I'm not sure if we're going to do the like regular buffet or like the sit down brunch in the dining hall i'm thinking if we can do the dining hall today tomorrow would be better for the buffet since we're going to be at port um in mexico so just grab something from the buffet and then like head out to cozumel it sounds good but we'll see and so breakfast there's like a comedy show and stuff today that we're gonna try to get into um and, you know we might go ahead and take a dip in the pool so today is pretty much open so we're gonna be on the ship 
you know, venturing out and trying to take you guys along with us. <laughs> oh, it's sunny out here. Sweet. Yeah, now. Having dinner tonight in the Lincoln Hot Dining Room. Can you stop it? Such a combined 
space. Robert. Hmm? Jesus Christ. Uh, Fucking rat is in your ass. Good morning, guys. We are finally in Cozumel, Mexico. Mexico, baby. Yeah, so we're going to spend the day here. Um, it is... 10.36. We arrived at 8.15 and about. Yeah. And we only have until 4.30 until we got back on the boat, a.k.a. we need to be back at 4 o'clock. <laughs> Either. Let's go. Don't get in the hurt. You can get around here. You can get even Oh, you can get Oh, you can even clean her. Oh my God. Oh, he went to the water. <laughs> Ricky goes, she put it in the mouth off the rip. <laughs> as hell again gonna take some tequila tasting shots soon at 1 30 it's 1 20 right now so about to head out yes we're gonna start with this and then with this i know you want the best one but take it easy this is little by little i'm on vacation i know and you are in my house that's what i need to teach you i need to teach you how to drink this take it easy amigos look what you're gonna mm. do it smells like uh Keep the your gold cup. to kill a gold smell, you Sandra? Look, senor, I know you are a big drinker. No, I'm not. I mean, I know you are especially about tequilas. This one, can you take your cups, amigos? Yes. First of all, smell the tequila. Mm -hmm. Separate it from your nose. Smell it again. Now, body and system say something is going to happen. Don't drink it yet. Something is going to happen. This tequila, you're gonna put it on your mouth three seconds, swallow in, inhale from your nose, exhale from your mouth. Are you guys ready? Ready. Mm -hmm. Everybody say salute. Salute. Where your, your cup at? I'm working. Smooth, oh. too. Exactly. You don't need lime and salt. Lime and salt is only for tacos, not for tequilas. <laughs> okay. Most of the time when you're going to bars, they need to give you lime and salt. The question is because this. The commercial tequila use 51% of agave and the rest is 
ethanol, methanol, corn sugar, and sugar canes. That's what I, on the next day, you have a headache. A diabetes. Exactly. Look at you. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, this tequila has history. So it's not, quickly, it's not easy to make this tequila. So this one is the Cuchi Cuchi Tequila. <laughs> Used for drinking all, oh, no mixed with anything. Amigo, take your cups, please. Take your cup. And everybody has to repeat after me because you are on my house. Let's gonna say a toast. Say, I'm not a chicken. I'm, I'm not, not a chicken. chicken. I'm not shy. I'm, I'm not, not shy. shy. I drink tequila. I drink, I drink tequila. tequila. And Cuchi Cuchi all night. And Cuchi Cuchi. You gonna hit big? You gonna hit big? That's your. You just pay ten dollars. Girl, you're nowhere near the 500. Okay, you try. Am I lined up? 20 grand, Kyle. Let's go. Go, baby. What's the answer? What's your what's hollandaise? Hollandaise? Like when you do it for eggs. Eggs, lemon. What's a fruit? Lemon? Lemon. Lemon. Good. I told it. Sourdough? Is it sourdough? Sour. Boom! I'm on it. I fucking know this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, you see that? That right there? That right there? <laughs> yeah. checking back in I know we haven't checked in a lot during this trip it's mainly just been relaxing and eating and sleeping and just enjoying ourselves drinking it wasn't <laughs> drinking it wasn't a lot of planning that was put into this trip this was just more so of a getaway and we just kind of went with the flow so I did my best to show you guys like parts of the cruise ship and things to eat and some of the things that we did. The most interesting, like my favorite part of the trip or the cruise in general is where we couldn't record. So we went to the Punchline <laughs> Comedy Club and in that same, like it was in the Eagle Lounge and in the Eagle Lounge they also had like this adult, it was like all the adult activities you couldn't record. So I couldn't share those with you guys, but those were, I think, were those your favorites too? Definitely, definitely. Those were our favorite things to do. Um, Carnival Quest game, scavenger yeah. hunt. Um, I never heard of that, but it got it got wild. You basically, everyone has teams of five or more. That's no, spit. Everyone has teams of five or more, and there's like an endless amount of teams in the room, however many teams that you want. And they make you basically scavenger hunt, but scavenger hunt some of the craziest things like no holds bars, no rules, yeah, adults only. <laughs> 
So it was like, bring me two bras. Like people are taking their bras off. Uh, women, bring up a woman twerking in a men's pair of pants. So everyone's trading pants. Uh, two people kissing. Uh, two females making out with each other. You know, stuff like that, you know, happened. Um, like your favorite threesome positions. It's, it was just wild. Like, yeah, so we couldn't record in there at all, but it was really, really fun. The co comedians. Yeah. yeah, the comedians. They had two celebrities. J.R. Brown. Brown. J.R. Brown. He was on Comedy Central. And Al Romero. He was uh, on HBO. Uh, funny guys. They did their shows. Uh, we went to about three. We went to all the three of their yeah. shows. Yes. Al Mer Romero only did two, and then the J.R. Brown dude did three, and we went to all of them because we went to the first ones, and they were super, super funny, so we just went back. So they also offered uh, PG shows for the whole family, and uh, kids, welcome to that. We didn't go to those, but I can only assume that they were just as funny, but the adult shows, oh man, those guys were, I mean, cursing, saying super vulgar things, but hilarious absolutely hilarious one was more of like an entertainer type impersonator type comedian and the other one he just talked crap the entire time and i fell victim we sat in the front on one of his shows and yeah he got me he ate, he ate me up <laughs> all in all i know this is not nearly as exciting as our bali vlog but it did give you a taste of a trip to cozumel you know like i said a little bit of the cruise ship a little bit of the food what you can expect on Carnival Valor. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video and the upcoming videos. We should have about two or three more uploads coming in the next week or so. Um, I got a lot of editing to catch up on because we've been, you know, in and out the country per se. But yeah. yeah, we love you guys and thanks for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye. You know, say bye.